So nearly everyone hates politics. Um, it, a lot of people like to talk about politics, a lot of people have political opinions, but very, very, very few people legitimately like to be involved in the process, whether that be through or primarily voting, uh, at least intelligent voting. Um, it's very difficult, uh, especially in the current situation we have, to educate oneself uh, properly on all sorts of candidates. You know, uh, the presidential race alone is very difficult to learn about. Uh, and you can go down the list of all sorts of other political offices that you need to educate yourself about if you want to vote intelligently. So very few people legitimately like to do that. Despite that fact, politics, especially intelligent voting, is incredibly important. On the screen, I have five pictures, and this is meant to represent exactly what voting nearly directly affects, whether that's military action abroad, uh, public education, the economy, infrastructure, the courts. Um, there's even more beyond that, but voting directly affects that, especially in local office. You know, a lot of people want to focus on presidential elections, but when it comes down to it, it's local elections that end up being important. So, really, there's, there's two problems that I see, uh, and I've spent a lot of time researching issues with voting, and sort of the first issue is that there's an incredibly low voting population, especially in comparison to other modern countries. Uh, in 2008, only 61% of our populace voted, eligible voters, only 61% took part. Uh, in 2012, 64% took part. Uh, now, a lot of people agree that 2012 and 2008 before it had incredibly high voting numbers due to the fact that it wasn't another old white guy running for president. Um, and so you can sort of infer from that that elections before that uh, usually get lower voting populations and lesser important elections generally have a smaller percentage of voting population. Now, there is a secondary problem <coughs> tied to that. Oh, I misplaced that. Hold on. I'll go back to that. Um, there is a secondary problem that comes from low voting population, and that is an intense division within our political system. Uh, and, and, you know, some people will argue that this isn't a new thing. But the fact of the matter is, it really is. Uh, in the last few years, what a lot of politically savvy people have seen is an intense division on the side of the GOP, the Republican Party. Uh, the Tea Party movement has gained traction. That's an ultra-conservative movement, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with politics. Uh, and on the side of the Democratic Party, politicians like Barack Obama and Elizabeth Warren, who are incredibly liberal, uh, have come to prominence. The reason for that is because of low voting population. The people that feel enfranchised to go out and vote are the people that are generally part of the <coughs> groups. You know, it's interesting, you never see you know, moderate Republicans or moderate Democrats or just independent voters going out and rallying for something. It's always publicized that you see the ultra-liberal or the ultra-conservative, especially the Tea Party, um, being heavily involved in these very motivated political rallies uh, and motivating people to vote for their cause. And that really all stems from the fact that not enough average Americans are voting. Not that people of perhaps fringe political beliefs aren't average Americans, but people with more centered beliefs just aren't voting. And that is a very real problem. So, sort of coming to an end here, is there a solution for it? And as much time as I've spent thinking about this, as much time as I've, I've spent practicing this speech, it's very difficult to sort of formulate exactly what a solution would be. In a general sort of way of thinking, you need to motivate people to go out and vote. Well, how do you do that? The easiest way to explain it is that you need to make people believe in voting and believe that their vote counts. The fact of the matter is, is that voting does matter. It does count. Every vote counts. In the 1960 presidential election, it was, designed, it was decided by a few thousand votes between Nixon and Kennedy. 
Uh, and very realistically, there could have been voter fraud on either side. But the fact that it came down to a few thousand votes reaffirms the fact that every single vote counts. And what you need to do is make people believe that voting does count. The issue that we have now is people don't feel enfranchised to vote. Um, I found this quote, and I really liked it. A nation of sheep will soon have a government of wolves. Um, currently, the majority, or well, not quite the majority, but 40% of our nation is made up of sheep that don't want to involve themselves in politics. And what needs to be done, through whatever means possible, whether that means making politics more focused on the local level, you know, state governments, town governments, um, perhaps running sort of anti-corruption programs, whatever it takes, but what you have to do is figure out a way to make people feel that their vote counts, that their vote will affect real change, and currently a lot of people believe that it doesn't. So that's my presentation. These are URLs. <laughs>